in whose hands are we safe in whose hands are we safe i want to take this opportunity to thank every kenyan that has supported us in terms of finances and in terms of resources those people who send the little that they have on our mpesa we are really grateful to you you are the reason why we are able to travel all over the country remember in a day we can use almost half a tank if not a full tank of petrol because of the distances but we are really grateful because you've really held our hand you are the reason why we get a place to sleep at night you're the reason why we get food to eat for the whole team you're the reason why we have security to stay safe as we do this all the good work that we've been able to do is courtesy of your generosity and it is because you decided to give i know many people may have trolled you or made fun of you because of your giving but we just want to be grateful and thank you that you decided to support us and to hold our hand because the leadership that we want to see in our country we have to invest in it not just our emotional support or our political support but even our resource support for leaders to come up leaders of integrity to come and occupy positions of leadership we have to be willing to support them in terms of financial resources so that they can be able to do what they do the way it happened in developed countries because if we wait for people with wealth to be the ones to come and save the nation most of them and some of them have actually acquired this wealth through corruption so we may be waiting for a long time but if we support leaders to come up from within our communities and even support them in terms of resource and finance i'm sure our country will change na ni naamini itabadilika kwa hivyo this is for you thank you so much god bless you whenever you have an opportunity whenever you have a little to spare we are really grateful asante sana this is Mwatate sub county next to Undanyi sub county na niko kwa barabara ya Mto Mwagodi, Dawida, Mbale, Undanyi road projects. Now this road was allocated 2.2 billion shillings. 2.2 billion shillings that is now two years down the line. The road has stalled. It was for 54 kilometers of road. So we've started the odometer at uh, 0.0, .0 kilometers. We want to see how many kilometers are complete. Right, so our good road comes to a tragic end. Barabara yetu imeshia hapo. The rest ni rough road. Let's see how many kilometers. So how many kilometers do we have? 4.9 kilometers. 4.9 kilometers of tarmac out of 54 kilometers. Hey, hey, yeah. Okay, so 54 kilometers kajenga 4.9. Basi mgejenga 50 muache hiyo 4. 2.2 billion. I remember this is the same company yenye iko na BRT tender. Ile ya 5 point something billion in Nairobi. You remember when I showed you the BRT tender ya bus rapid transport ya Thika Super Highway phase 1 in ilikuwa inaanza from Ruiru all the way to Kenyatta National Hospital 5 billion shillings ilizama hapo and we don't have uh hiyo mradi ya BRT so now the same same company Stekol Corporation kuja hapa taitataveta wakacheza kiwao za hata unaona hiyo hoteli inaitwa highway walikuwa shatagemea kwamba hapa itakuwa highway this is the situation of the road as you climb up the mountain this is this is what you find Na bando, bando!
bado 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 chanzi sana in 2021 standard media group reported that the 10000 seater Wundanyi Dawson Mwanyumba Stadium Wundanyi Dawson Mwanyumba Stadium was complete This is a project that costed more than 35 million shillings and it is a 10000 seater stadium The article by one author called uh, Renson Mnyamwezi goes forward and says that you are met with lush green the perimeter wall is complete the football field the athletic track and the perimeter fence all right so we just want to see the very beautiful 10000 seater stadium that was reported in this article in 2021 all right so we want to count 10000 seats twende kazi so this is 1 2 3 So 34 we have how many rows this is incomplete well let's just count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 So let's do a quick math there 34 times 7 times se- 238 eh toyo kwa 10000 tumebakisha kitu 9762 si ndio 9762 let's count this one so this is supposed to be the like the dias so 35 million rehabilitation of the Dawson Manyumba stadium eh hapa uundanyi taita taveta county ah hii hata haina shade haina shade lakini iko sawa so let's count this one eh? this one is uh, how many sita 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 25 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 plus 25 times 7 so it is a 413 stadium sita so we, out of 10000 sita we are lacking 9500 and 87 so this is the stadium this is the athletics track just want to see the athletics track together with the football pitch all right remember uh taita tavet is a home of talent especially in football in fact we have a descendant of this land who actually plays for leicester city yeah kuna kijana kutoka hii area anaitwa kazungu anachezea Leicester City 15 aside 15 aside eh mimi ni under 15 i don't know this is the athletic track this is what is left of it and this is the football pitch we even have a girls team here unaona kuna team ya madem hapa wanacheza mpira kata kambombo hii mnasema mchezo wa town hii ni mchezo wa mashinani mchezo wa hapa Taita Taveta County wizi wizi bila kazi wizi wizi bila nini bila kazi something that is very shocking about Taita Taveta county most of the stalled projects that i have toured in this county they are not in the auditor general's report meaning the representatives of the auditors who usually audit this county ni kama kuna mchezo wa town hapo because this stadium is not in the auditor general's report and you can see it's a crime scene moi stadium in voi is not in the auditor general's report and you can see it's a crime scene the road from uh, Mwamgodi Mto Mwagodi all the way to Wundanyi coming this way up to Bura that road for 2.2 billion is also not in the Auditor General's report for 20 the financial year 2021 2022 so hapa iko mchezo ya town kwa hiyo ofisi ya Auditor General na i have this advice for them nyinyi ndio macho na masikio ya wananchi tunawategemea nyinyi mu audit vile pesa ya serikali inatumika na kama mnafunga macho mnalipwa alafu you don't put these projects in the report be sure we will find them so this is a wake up call to you to leave your comfortable offices come to the ground and check whether these projects are done or ni pesa wananchi imeibiwa
Wizi wizi bila. Shanzi sana. These are houses. Hizi ni nyumba. <laughs> Instead of completing this, they started a new one. Wizi wizi bila kazi. The only focus is ni wapi tutaiba. Kama hapa hatuwezi iba, hii imekuwa ma, walishakula pesa. Hatuwezi allocate pesa ingine itashindikana ile yenye tuli allocate ilienda wapi. Ona, na zimeisha vizuri. Kitu imebaki tu finishing. Look, look. Let's go down this way. You see? Very many houses. Ni very careful. Zimekuliwa na mchu wa zingine. Aya, ya, ya. Drainage ni yenyewe. Nyumba zimejengwa ndizo hizo. Here are the houses. Huh? Hata kitu ya kulaunch iko pale. Tukitaka tunaweza hata zi launch. Sure. Show them this. Show them. Taxes. This is your money melala hapa. You see? Hebu angalia hii ni kuoza inaoza ilijengwa since 1987 angalia mstuni the nature is taking its place karibu imeza hizi projects sasa miti na nyasi itameza hizi projects this project is going to collapse wizi wizi bila kazi all right i am in voi this is taita taveta county and this is a national housing corporation program that was being done since the times of president moi 1987 hizi ni kama zile niliwaonyesha za wote in makweni the ones that were done but never completed so this is another project of very many houses so they abandoned these ones that are incomplete instead of completing them and went to start another housing program ya boma yangu which i'll show you shortly here in voi so wameanza ingine but these ones are not yet complete so proper use of state resources would have been they spend that money to first complete what is already there before they start something else but as you can see they preferred mahali pesa iko mahali wanaweza kula pesa i'm here with some of the people from this county of taita taveta here in voi and some of them have something to say to kenyans yeah i have something to say to kenyans mm. as you can see behind our back this is the uh, project that are, that was started by the government of Kenya in 1987 mm. now the question is uh badala serikali malizie hii project it may cost it has costed over 800 millions now imeenda kuanzisha project zingine hapa kama vile mheshimiwa amesema ataonyesha baadaye so tunauliza mbona wasimalize hii wa afu ndio waende ile ama wanataka mali ambapo watakulia Tuliwachagua ili wakule pesa for their own benefits ama tuliwachagua ili watufanyie kazi jamani. Please 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 Morara inject this. We are inject. tired of this. Inject. 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 Hai wapi ile jamani alisema bila mic mimi si sonko. Hebu <laughs> sema mambo. Eh mazee tumekuwa tu hivi tuko tu hivi. Mavijana tuko kwa street. Hakuna do, hakuna job. Au au mabudu na tumebao fala. Lakini sasa hizi time imefika mm. paka tu inject lazima tu inject watajua sisi ndo kabisa na pia wana complain kwamba contracts hapa hazipewi the locals mm. watu wanakuja contractors wanakuja na their own manpower mm. come here with the supporters of inject in voi taita taveta county Tugunyere. na sasa tuko uh, kwa boma yangu project yeah. hii ni ile affordable housing ya William Ruto hii ni pool B the first one that I showed you was pool A. So pool A haikuwa iisha, pesa ilikuliwa hiyo ikaenda. Now they are building pool B. So this is pool B behind me here. They've already excavated the foundation for construction and they've already built a kindergarten on that side. Now we have just a few questions. <clears throat> they say it's an affordable housing program. How affordable is it? to Kenyan people if only 1% of the 55 million Kenyans can afford this. Number two, why take Kenya's money, build them a house, 
then again sell them the house that you've built with their money. You know, make sense, Aj. You only one plus one equals to eleven. Eleven. Yeah? You only wash, wash. You take their money, you build a house, then you sell them the house that you've built with their money. We've had cases where contractors take title deeds of public land and borrow loans with it. In this same Kenya, Yenyetuko, a private contractor can take public land and borrow a loan with it. This affordable housing program is the biggest scandal of our generation. Ni wizi wizi bila kazi. Bado, 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 bado. Shanzi sana. Kenya hakuna kazi. However, there is something you can do and you can beat poverty. Especially the young people of Kenya. I want to encourage you to embrace farming as a source of livelihood. Look. Ona hizo nyai. Look at how well, you know, ziko. Now here I'm in Oloitoktok sub-county of Kajiado County. And I'm just here to look at the tomato farming in this region and how it is benefiting the people of this region and how actually you can also leave the comfort of your home. Come here, lease 100 acres or lease 200 acres and make some good maziwa. So this is the nyanyas. You remember yesterday I showed you the Rombo uh, tomato processing plant for Kajiado South. And that processing plant was supposed to help the, tom the tomato farmers of this area. So these are some of the tomatoes that we have here. This vehicle is headed to Tanzania, so we don't know whether they process paperwork or anything. But at least we know that they've already packed the tomatoes ready for exit to the market. When I was telling you that about 40% of the harvest is lost through not being able to preserve these farm produce and harvest. This is what I meant. You can see how many tomatoes have to be thrown away because of not being able to preserve them. Zingine zinaharibikia shambani, zingine zinakuwa delicate, zinakuwa mishandled, zinaharibika. You can see even the, the makeshift crates that they are using. They don't have proper crates for these tomatoes. So if farming is supported and agriculture is supported in Kenya, it can actually employ most of the people that are unemployed in our country. But otherwise, I've given you a secret for today. No, my son. Very deep. Apana Machezo. Oh my. Sasa hii ndio waliweka kuvukia. Si hata aliweka. Si yeye. Hiyo bridge nani aliweka? Ni wengine wanajikata mafariti kwa hapo tunalima. Mhm. 